guys, wait, I'm gonna put this back down. Let's fix this. Right here. So, hey guys, this is uh, Yoji Gaming. And we're back for a video on a tutorial how to convert parts, like for any parts or anything, from SketchUp into GE. And I got, guys, I got a form, I got a form, free, um, Pro Boards page. Free forms, whatever. Forms site up. I'm gonna put that in the in the description and most of my mods that I made, my well, I didn't give links to, they're all there. And I have a category for perch, which is gonna have this back rack. So let's get to it. So you go like if you want to get anything, you just search it up through 3D Warehouse. So I search a back rack, took a piece of there. You can do anything, you can convert trucks and everything. So, tip is so some people are saying they, they messed up and they wouldn't show up the whole back rack in the game. So, that's because you have to explode it. Let me explode it, copy it all again. Wait, yeah, try and copy it. You copy it for that. Oh yeah, no more. We can't do any more exploding. So once you got it done, and get like if there's any if you're doing like a truck, you want to you don't want to get any windows. You want to either put the put the windows black and move to the inside and everything, or you can just delete the windows if you want it to be see through. I don't know how to do texturing through windows yet, but in Chrome. But see, we got we got this all exploded. So we'll go file. Export 3D model. Wait for the file. Wait for the file to come up. Let's we'll call it. Put it on my desktop. Rack. There we go. In this back back rack. Export that. So what? Uh, this is gonna export. And okay, we'll just close these down. And guys, as you can see here, I'm working on some. I'm working on this F F three fifty brush truck. And there's just thing I'll put the on the other one. Then I'm working on this old one. I'm gonna get to tell me how we texture texture the lights. And the axe there on the side, a generator and some fire extinguishers. But that's just a different that's a different whole different topic. So we'll find here rack. We'll back rack. We'll load this up. And here guys, I'm gonna show you how to like some people were saying um that they didn't know how to from that, they know how to set the blender, blender up. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So you go into, let's see, a firework simulator here on your local drive here, DVD drive. So you go here, and here's where your what might show up. You go, I think SDK, yeah, and. This blender right here, you wanna, you wanna, just click on that, and then play, pay, paste it like, 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 come up here, as you want this to go. So, like, you do this and install it to um, you install this, and then to the desktop you get the file. But I'll show you. Okay, wait, I'll probably see if it's on my desktop still, maybe. No. But then once you do that, like you don't do anything from the file, you go in here, 
you go to local you go to local disk you go to program files blend, blender foundation blender 2.77 right over right here you go to scripts add-ons and you copy that in here okay now that's the first step so then you come in um, in the blender here you delete that block go to file user preferences so and it'll come back adds Adam add-ons and if you look down here you go disabled up here in the corner okay and you look down and you end up finding a, your 3d file i3d and it will show up it will, um, it will show up here to this and then once you enable it once you click on it once you click on it like that it will press enable like enable but once you go to enable you look for it here for the i3d file which I think this is a giant's a giant's editor of them giant's right here um, game engine giant's i3d ex exporter tools so once you do that you go you're fine so we're gonna go here we're gonna go import Data, data, back rack. So right down here is our back rack, which we can see. So we're gonna just right click, and then we're gonna press A A. So it copies it. Press over here. Press join. Press set origin and geometry to origin. And it'll move it out of the way. If it goes outside the map, like way over here, just scroll out and you'll find it. So once we do that, we press go down here, export. It'll say Giants i3d file. Yeah, and you go it bring up your folder where that what you originally wrote was. Export. And then now it will export that file. Then just close it down. It no matter if it don't save. And right here, you can see back rack. But I can't open it right now because my giant senator is not working. But I can see right there. But if you guys, if you guys like, once you once you guys do this, it just is easy as hell. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. I might do a landscaping video soon. And once I get like everything straightened away. So I hope you like this video. My Insta well, I don't think I got my I don't think I have a link for my Instagram, but I'll have my Facebook group and my forums page on in the description. And this on the my forums page, this back rack will be uploaded to there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.